Hello, my name is Blake Naminsky, and today I'm going to show you how to fork Exceptionalist, pull down and run the Exceptionalist app, and make a change, submit that change via a pull request to GitHub. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we're logged into GitHub. Then we're going to want to install the, the GitHub for Windows client by going to windows.github.com. You're going to want to download and install the GitHub for Windows client. Then when you're on this page, you can see that we're on the exceptionalist repository. We're going to fork this code by clicking on the fork repo. Now you can see that instead of exceptionalist, exceptionalist, it's B. Nominsky and exceptionalist. This means that we have our own repository to make any changes. So now I'm going to click this clone and desktop button, which opened the GitHub for Windows client that we installed earlier. As you can see, it's starting to pull down the changes. And then we're going to right click this project and do open and explore. So at this point, we've forked the repository, we pulled it down, and the source code is located on our hard drive. To start the app and to start debugging, we're going to go down and follow steps in the getting started. So the first step is to start Mongo in Redis by opening start backend servers.bat. So we're going to come down here and find it, and we're just going to double click it. You can see that it started Redis and MongoDB. We're just going to minimize these. Now we just need to open the exceptional solution. I'm going to click collapse all. Now I'm going to right click the solution and select set startup projects. I'm going to click on multiple startup projects. I'm going to come down and find the Exceptionalist app and click start. I'm going to find the Exceptionalist sample console and click start. I'm going to click apply and OK. Now I'm just going to do a rebuild so we pull down all the NuGet packages. So now we just need to start debugging. And you can see that it launched both an Internet Explorer instance and a console application. So we're going to switch back to the browser and we're going to click sign up. The first time you sign up for our account, we will create sample organization and project if you're the first user of the system. And I'm going to click create my account. You can see that we are redirected to the dashboard for our project that was created for us and we have no data. So we're going to switch back to the console application and press 1 to send one error into the system. You can see automatically that the page refreshed and we have our new error occurrence. Awesome, now let's go update the readme file and submit a pull request. So I'm going to close the browser, I'm going to go back to the folder, and I'm going to double click the readme and maximize it, and I'm going to go add a requirements section. Now I'm going to save this change and I'm going to go back to the GitHub for Windows, click on the project, and you can see that I have one change at the requirements section. So. I'm going to add a commit message. I'm going to press commit to master. Now I'm going to go up here and hit the sync. This syncs your changes to your local repository that you forked in GitHub. Great. Now my changes are synced. Let's go back to GitHub and click on this icon to compare or create a pull request. You can see that I added the section for the requirements to the readme file. I'm going to come up here and click create pull request and then I'm going to click send pull request. This allows the exceptionalist project to bring in custom changes. Thanks, I hope you have a great day.